Welcome to this week's episode of Kid Lit 6. We're so glad you could join us for lots of great book recommendations. Each week, we celebrate book birthdays, hear recommendations from authors, talk about a book of the week, and celebrate book birthdays. If you're new here, you can go back and watch previous episodes to get lots of great book recommendations. And if you've been here for a while, welcome back. As a reminder, all the books mentioned in the episode are listed down below. So if you hear about a book that sounds interesting that you might want to read, you can look down there and get all the information. Millie has received an invitation that is the opportunity of a lifetime. She was invited along with five other girls to the childhood home of Amelia Earhart and they'll get to spend the night. Millie's mom is a pilot, and so Millie is hopeful that the overnight trip will give her enough interesting things to write about to her mom in a letter, if only she can find her address. When she arrives at the home in Kansas, she meets the other five girls, and then they get to see some really cool artifacts, including Amelia Earhart's famous flight goggles. Millie cannot believe her good luck. And then things take a turn when it's discovered that the goggles have gone missing and Millie was the last one to see them. Millie and the other five girls team up and the Amelia Six set out to solve the mystery of who took the goggles and return them to their rightful owner. If you like books with mystery, you're going to love this as you get to try to solve the mystery along with the Amelia Six. I'd also recommend this book if you like reading books that have some history in them as you get to learn a little bit about Amelia Earhart. And if you like airplanes, you'll definitely enjoy this book. Now, I wanted to give you your own chance to solve a mystery. So on the next screen, you're going to see a picture that has lots of different images on it. You're going to want to study that because when the screen changes, you have to figure out what's gone missing. Will you be able to figure out what's gone missing before the time is up? The day a book first comes out is called its publication date, but some people call it its book birthday, and since that's a lot more fun, we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a few of this week's book birthdays. First up is Anissa's International Day. Anissa is so excited about International Day at school. She's pretty sure she has the perfect idea of what to bring to share with her classmates. And then someone else has the exact same idea and she's scrambling to find plan B. So when she comes up with her second plan, she's excited until she discovers her best friend doesn't like the idea at all. What will Anissa end up doing for International Day and will she get to enjoy the day she's been so excited about? Next up is the Vanderbeekers on the road. The Vanderbeekers are back and this time they're heading out on a road trip. They've decided to give their dad the best birthday surprise ever. They're recreating a road trip that he never got to take with his dad. So the whole crew packs up and hits the road. Things get off to a little bit of a rocky start, but will they be able to get things back on track? Next up is Wild Oak. Maddie's stutter has really caused school to be a difficult thing. And then her unsympathetic father says he's going to send her away for treatment. This doesn't sound good to Maggie at all. Her mother intervenes and decides to send her off for some fresh air at the Wild Oak Forest. There she'll visit a grandfather she hardly knows. And then she discovers an abandoned snow leopard cub. Danger follows and Maggie is in a race against time, both for herself and the cub. Now, the best way to celebrate a book birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and pick up your copy of these books today. The rules in the 
cafeteria seemed completely arbitrary, like no one had given them any thought. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word arbitrary? Create your own sentence and then post it in the comments below or share it with us on social media at KidLit6. We hope this episode has given you lots of great books you want to read, and we can't wait to see you again next week for even more books. Have a great week and happy reading!